Conventional economics knows the cost of everything and the value of nothing. The convention is to talk about growing a bigger economic pie. Who doesn't want more pie? But why would you settle for pie when you could have layer cake with icing on it? The fundamental layer of the cake has got to be how the planet is doing because it's the source of all the raw materials. Then the next layer is how we take care of one another. And it's on top of those two things that you can build a physical infrastructure. And then on top of that is actually the economy that we usually talk about. None of which is possible without the previous layers. But we only ever talk about the top layer. The beginning of the 20th century starts with two wars and a depression. At the end of it, people recognize that human development and security was incredibly important for well-being. There was a really vigorous debate between does human development create economic growth or does economic growth facilitate human development? But around the beginning of the 1980s, the primary public policy has been growing the economy. You give the people that know how to create wealth more money so they can create more wealth for everybody. Yes, they created more wealth, but they kept more wealth. We were told that there was some kind of organic reason for it rather than greed or the fact that wealthy people can change the rules. And they do. They shield themselves from risk, from financial risk, from social responsibilities because they're too important to be permitted to fail and everybody else pays for their failures. But when they succeed, they don't share it. An argument for free markets without also robust public provisions is an argument for inequality. Free market fundamentalists are blind to the other layers that support them. What we have really learned is that my survival depends on your survival. Building up the floor of supports will build up the economy. Better public services and paying people a living wage at the floor of the economy will boost the economy from the bottom up and make people more resilient for whatever happens to them, make them more willing to be innovative and entrepreneurial. None of that is possible in a pie. So why would you settle for pie when you could have cake?